the trustees made in 1971. Our senior speaker is a superb example of someone who has taken full advantage of his time here at Randolph-Macon College. Keith Ki Wang is not only an exceptional student academically, but he has served as a role model for his peers through active, hands-on leadership, engagement, and outreach during his time here. He has been actively engaged in the life of RMC in an extraordinary number of ways. Under his leadership as president of the Sigma Phi Epsilon fraternity, his chapter was na named one of the top 25 chapters in the country. He was honored as RMC's fraternity president of the year in 2013. And this year he was named our Greek man of the year. He also received a scholarship from Sigma Phi Epsilon Education Foundation to acknowledge his many contributions to his fraternity. Instead of accepting that credit for earning the scholarship, he chose to attribute the honor to his fraternity brothers, who, those who helped him become the person he is today. Known for his generous spirit, he was, well, he, in working with Randolph Macon's Relay for Life event, and he served on numerous campus committees, including the college's life, the College Life Committee. He was an orientation leader and one of our two head orientation leaders this year. He has also been a mentor in the Higgins Academic Center, completed two internships, and studied abroad during a January term. He is receiving his bachelor's degree today, double majoring in economics business and arts management. He also has set his sights on opportunities in financial planning and analysis in the Washington, D.C. area and plans ultimately to pursue an MBA. We are pleased to have spent this extraordinary time at Randolph-Macon with Key and look forward to hearing about his bright future ahead of him. Class of 2014, please welcome your senior speaker, Key Wang. I'll say it again. It's a great day to be a Yellow Jacket. Friends, families, President Lindgren, Randolph Macon Board of Trustees, faculty, staff, and administration, it is an absolute honor and a privilege to be standing in front of you on this beautiful day. I'm Key Wang. I represent one of the many voices of the Randolph Macon College Class of 2014. Whether you flew into Richmond International, braved the I-95 traffic yourself, or arrived right here in the center of the University of Train, I can say, on behalf of the entire graduating class, that we are thankful and blessed to have you here with us for this occasion. Last summer, I took an impromptu hike with a close friend of mine in the Shenandoah Mountains. Having absolutely no prior knowledge of, of hiking or even knowing whether I had the physical capability to complete an eight-mile vertical trek, it was a particularly hot and humid day. And the terrain was tough and there really didn't seem to be an end in sight. Kind of like that month of ongoing track maintenance uh, during our junior year when we heard the obnoxious sound of train horns every 20 minutes starting at 7 a.m. You guys remember that, right? However, three and a half hours later after beginning this hike, I was sitting on the edge of the highest point in Virginia, over a mile above sea level, staring into the astounding scenery and reflecting on the challenge and unpredictability of the adventure I had just taken while also feeling a very strong sense of personal fulfillment. With only weeks to go before entering my senior year at Macon, I thought to myself, wow, I guess this is what life after college is going to be like. Challenging and unpredictable, but ultimately fulfilling. I believe that the education and experiences we have received from Randolph Macon have prepared us to meet the challenges that we'll inevitably meet in the quote-unquote real world. As the recipients of a liberal arts education, 
we were challenged by our professors academically, involved in extensive classroom discussions, participated in independent study, and joined organizations that allowed us to engage in service learning and outreach. As a result, we're more prepared for this quote-unquote real world as educated citizens. Randolph-Macon prides itself on offering a liberal arts education designed to develop the mind and character of its students. Along with this come challenges. Fighting that snooze button until you hit that seven minute mark that gives you just enough time to get yourself together and show up to class on time. Uh, relationships so close that inadvertently skipping an 8 a.m. lecture inevitably leads you to you running into that professor later that day in Estes. And attempting to find parking on campus between 10 and 2, to name a few. However, we're also gifted with not only our beautiful campus, but also approachable relationships with our professors. A charming, close-knit community and a pathway for future success. I take a lot of pride in going to such a college. As educated citizens, we are prepared to work and communicate effectively with people who are different from us. We have the ability to continuously gain knowledge in all facets of life by collaborating with others whom we have, we've learned to accept in our lives. We can think freely and communicate our beliefs in an educated and respectful manner. As educated citizens, we are ready and willing to give back to our community, our college, and our country. We're proud because we were given the opportunity to receive a wonderful education, but we must display humility as not all are as lucky as we are. And finally, as educated citizens, we can be self-sufficient, choosing our own paths in life. We can accept change in this constantly evolving world. We can trust in our own instincts and are prepared to go our own way, even if it goes against the expectations of others. And as we have all learned in the last four years, success occurs only after we face hindrances, missteps, and oftentimes, failure. The late Carnegie Mellon professor and lecturer, Randy Posh, once said, the brick walls are there for a reason. The brick walls are not there to keep us out. The brick walls are there to give us a chance to show how badly we want something. Because the brick walls are there to stop the people who don't want it badly enough. They're there to stop the other people. My friends, don't be the other people. We're going to face many obstacles in our lifetime. But we've gained the ne skills necessary to overcome them through our experiences and education right here at randolph Macon. The obstacles that we will face can and will be long and rocky hikes. Life will be challenging. It will be unpredictable but ultimately, it will be wildly fulfilling. I challenge you to take what you've learned in the past four years and apply it to your future endeavors as educated citizens. I firmly believe that no matter our major here at Randolph-Macon, we have learned valuable life skills that will allow us to thrive in an ever-evolving society. Furthermore, I challenge you to enter the workforce with the memory of your alma mater, and when your hard work turns into success, to give back to Randolph-Macon. My classmates, time has come. We did it. I distinctly remember standing several feet from here four years ago as nervous as I felt walking past a sorority house for the first time. <laughs> Taking that dreadful microeconomics final exam given, given to us by Professor Schmidt our freshman year. Or, uh, let's face it, eating Estes after a long summer of home-cooked meals. <laughs> we were welcomed as the class of 2014 by President Lindgren. I recall this moment as being filled with excitement and anxiety at the same time. Eager to, eager to be, begin a new chapter of my life while awed by the conclusion, the conclusion of my past life. I stand here before you all today with those same emotions. Except, this time, I'm filled with a vast amount of knowledge, pride for my future alma mater, and love for those of you sitting in front of me at this very moment. I sincerely thank you all for allowing me to share these wonderful experiences with you in the last four years. And congratulations, class of 2014. Thank you.